from day one, I didn't know how I was gonna get this done, but I was in it for the experience. It was a journey. Able to bring everyone to the table, you know, from the most powerful to the least powerful, from, you know, people that have homes and people who are walking around without homes, to be able to bring together everyone. All of Rockford, wherever it is that you live, we love you, we think your voice matters, and we want you to participate in the community conversation. One of the major challenges was having to do this Kickstarter. Um, I had never raised money before, and the thought of asking people for money um, was really scary. I didn't believe they would pay for something like this. When I started talking to people and driving all around town and just seeing, just seeing people's interests, once I started telling them about the project and how they could be a, a part of it, seeing their enthusiasm, and I, I felt a little bit like, you know, I started to feel like maybe this could work. We'll be able to get people from all across Rockford to come to this location to participate in these dreaming sessions where people get to imagine a future that is different than the present. And then Tia takes this, these sketches, these ideas, and makes this beautiful art that we all get to participate in. I'm looking forward to it. I am working for you. You're the community. I'm here in service for you. And I want you to hold, hold me to that. <laughs> There's areas that feel more isolated. There's there's areas that are that um, that feel pretty great. And to me, that's okay. To me, that represents the life, the the, the life in the city. So my work is I, I want to break down those walls of isolation. Um, I think murals are important because, well, for a lot of reasons. This specifically because it makes people own the neighborhood and feel like the neighborhood is cared about. What, what you have here is on the bottom, you have the heavy, the heavier stuff, the, the sort of the, the gritty stuff, the concrete stuff, the, the, the life here on the bottom. And when your eye moves up, what do you notice about how you feel? It's brighter. It gets it's brighter. brighter. That's psychological. So that's what I'm gonna do with the art. And so we start with the challenge and we have to move forward. So whatever's here will be um, the transition. So what would be a challenge we'd like to start with? Just pop it out there, we're gonna go bam, bam, bam. It's misunderstanding. Precious. Lack of unity. I was about to say unity. <laughs> go ahead. Inequity. Inequity. Okay. The river, the river is a divide. It's a physical It's a It cuts the, the town right to death. Places. Stuff. Stuff. Yeah. What would be one thing that's needed to help um, increase some, a person's sense of that their willingness to try? More hope. Faith in each other. We gotta we, see the transition. We, we need to see, see the, the transition and how we can like initiate that transition. Right, like right now, you guys are at an opportunity to say how you want the next phase to happen. Of the roof, because it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a, it's literally where the two sides are. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much all the rock needs. No. Maybe, maybe uh, hands uh, holding up. What are you challenging? And there's some street performers, and people are, you know, there's there's uh, saxophone players and and there's festivals going. So the happy hands are holding up their road so people are walking across the get by. We're coming together where we started with a small heart and we expanded and got bigger and we're all coming together and celebrating. That's what it looks like me. I want some too. <laughs> Close up. I love it. 
start with what the challenges are, symbolically represented by the clouds and the, the darkness. Um, the river itself, in my mind, is a symbol of the city as a whole and the psyche of the city reaching for something better. Yeah, I love it. I love all of the water. I love the way the water like grounds it, because I think you're right, the, the river grounds us here. The river, uh, to me, is, is, the, is the divine. Yeah. Uh, the baptism, uh, it, 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 as, as what's the water. Jordan, that's water. the Jordan River. Yeah, it, it just stands for so many things, and, and I, I agree, I love the way it reaches out. The water's reaches so out. cool. The wings are popping out to me as well. I know we had talked beforehand about not using any religious imagery. So this is like an archetype of the future. It's the beyond, the beyond the now. Um, it's bigger. It's, it communicates this bigger sense. And you don't see it right away. So that's why the wings are that large. That's why they're that large. And it could be a sword. I have this big angel that came to me in a vision for this art piece, and it was the center image. I drew the angel with three heads to show it was bowing in my vision to the future of Rockford that's coming, but it didn't come across well. And I thought it was really powerful. I don't, I don't wanna do a bird. I just offered that out of desperation so they could have something. I thought, I thought, it, I thought it was dumb. <laughs> I think that the theology of angels is um, problematic. I mean, who doesn't, who turns down an angel? Uh, and you've got it in here twice, so that would be the one thing that I would push on. I was shocked that they didn't accept the angel. Now what am I going to do? We, we, we get to the community paint days, and there's this empty gym. When I saw all those panels laid out, I wonder, uh, how is it, where's everybody? How is this going to get done? I needed help from the community to paint the background. People weren't coming out. So I reached out around town to some local businesses, some schools, pleading with them to take some of the panels. I, I even offered to bring them the panels. At that moment, I was afraid I couldn't get it done. I mean, I won't go too close to the green. So what I'd be doing is mixing. I'll be mixing like three different blues together to get water depth and some purple, oh, some purple yes. in there. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. So there's going to be like three or four layers when this is all done. So don't worry so much about it. Yeah. I found out they thought what they were painting would be going up on the wall. It would like it would be their art. When they found out, I'd, I'd be going over and doing some touch-ups. Because they, they saw one of the panels that I did, and they put it up in front of everybody, in front of the whole congregation on Sunday. As soon as I saw what it would look like after I had painted it on the panels, then they wanted to be involved. They, they wanted to get their hands in it and paint. And more started coming out, and they just kept coming and coming. And they kept coming back, seeing all those people. <laughs> that really gets me. It was like it was like a dream come true. Everything was getting done so fast. I could hardly keep up with them. And I started getting calls back from some of the places who wanted me to bring panels to them. This is a, no matter what Tia, Tia does to it, however she uh, 
pretty zip up. I'm still gonna walk by and know that this is my grass. This is the, uh, this is the lawn that I helped put. Last week when I'd come from work, I'd be really tired. And as soon as I started painting, and the same thing happened today, I didn't feel tired and I, I felt energized. They came just to be a part of it. <laughs> it didn't have to look like their art. That's the funny thing. To me, that's what community art is about. It's just about the journey, it's about the experience, and discovering something new. This is something that I've never done before. It's the first time thing as far as painting the mural. But like, I feel like it's very therapeutic. If I ever would be camp, become an art teacher, then I would have a lot of experience out of what I'm doing right here. It's teaching me a lot. How to paint, how to make sure that you know, the white spaces, Ooh, how to stroke your brush. I saw you maybe pushing the brush. The hairs don't really like it when you push it, so we're just gonna always pull. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and it just makes me feel, I don't know, feel, feel, feel good outside. Yeah, it just brings out the good in me. The meaning of it, the meaning of it is the greatest thing. It's like going from past, present to future, uh, bringing the community together is, is my dream come true. It's knowing that we're doing something for years to come. It's all going to be part of the grass and the sky. I think that's water and, and the sky making okay. friends. Okay. I have a farmer's background and so really what really speaks to me is, is the flowers and the colors and the nature that's involved and then just the, all the symbolism of the birds and, and collectively. You know, the, the people, um, all kinds of people, right? Because we want to we wanna embrace this idea that we're all part of one human family. Uh, it's been so fun. I feel like I've just learned like so much about art, but also just with the whole community coming in, it's been so cool getting to interact with people and learn in that way. something and when you sit down with a canvas and there's nothing on it and you actually form a picture or even if it's not even a picture just the different colors and how they blend together it's a completing a thought that in itself is just art you know, it's a beautiful thing it's making something beautiful being part of it, being able to share it with others it's nothing like it Yes. Oh wow! I think yeah, it might be fun. here. I think it might be here because that's a bowl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sharing. Maybe they're building the house, which um, like a dear uh, lady. <laughs> we are finally coming to end of an era where 
people must come together without any other differences. You know, this is a, a case where you, you let citizens have that. And you said, put, give me what your thoughts are. Just so many pieces in here that one looks can actually, someone can say, that's a part of me, and so it's, it's very powerful. It's a movement, you know, being able to see the mirror, you know, you can like, kind of like give yourself a, a portrait of the change that you want, you know, everybody coming together, you know, things actually happening. Especially the different variant type of people that's actually putting their hands in it. You know, and I love the hands, you know, with the bridges. You know, it's about us lifting each other up and actually carrying, you know, each other in ourselves. Yeah, it's very, it's more than visual. You know, it's art. We are art. Everyone has their place in it. So, oh yeah. Yep, we're getting goosebumps. Just. <laughs> I see a wonderland. Right over there. Yeah. All the people join together. This is the first time I I have been able to come down to see the mural, um, and I don't even have words to describe how I'm feeling about it. This one over here with the lady swimming. That's what I like. That's a sign of, of survival. Help. She seems like she's gasping or reaching for help. You see everything that you want to see in any community, let alone Rockford. All yeah. with so many things that mean so much to us. Uh, if it's a theater or an airplane, all being tied into this to show us that, yeah, there are different aspects that we all love, but when we work together, they do create something pretty beautiful. The color kinds of, the color kinds of bring it out more and you know what I mean? No, this is, I just like what I see, you know. When I see this mural, I think of all the love and understanding that T has brought out in our community. She had five to six meetings with people in the community, and out of that came the inspiration for this mural. The mural shows love, understanding, and a place that we all need to go. It just flows so evenly, and I just, every time I drive by here, I take a look at it. It, it's an eye catcher for sure, and it shows unity with different nationalities coming together, and that gives me hope. The fact that we're showing people talking to each other, working together, learning from each other. And the children, you have a child here, you know, if there's anybody that we should be changing Rockford for, having hope for in this city, it should be our children, it should be the youth. And I know they're watching, they're a part of the change. Well, what I see in the mural is love. And I see love from all the way from the one side all the way to the other. Well, you know what? I love children. Love them. And, 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 and you know, and to see the children there with the love, the young, well, I guess maybe it's a father, the young man reading to them and their smiles. And you see the comfort, you see the, you see the support. You know, I mean, the hope, and, and, and I, you know, I, I just love it. And I see here, hoping is happening. We have a chance. We're going to go ahead and reach it. If we all stand together and do the things that we need to do. You know, we're stronger together as opposed to trying to do it individually. What I really um, like about this, and that I've had several people in the neighborhood talk to me about, is they come through and they say, um, like the, the group that did the heart with the people, you know, they remember drawing that on the sketch pad and they are so excited to see it up there. It's just little bits and pieces that come together. It looks nice, you know, 
show for paradise can possibly be with all colors of people can be together. Also, it shows happiness and everybody is treating each other the same. Equality. You know, a little taste of heaven, a little imagination. I like that. I think one of the <laughs> coolest parts about this is that it just changes the tenor of these blocks. Like, there are hard things happening right around here, but this mural just projects joy. Can you take other than that? Her blocks around. This is ridiculous. This is beautiful. This, well, this bird here, um, and the colors on it are uh, just gorgeous. Maybe it's because I can see some of the wings back on the panels there, but um, it's just it's striking. Along the way, I started to notice that I had to change as the journey changed. And the art changed because of that, and it became better. The art actually got better because of the journey and because of those conversations. So now when I look at it, I see something way better than it was even in my original. I love the stork now. It's actually one of my favorite things. One of the most beautiful things about this process was those changes. They were hard at the time, but when I look back on it now, I just see the beauty that came out of that. It surprised me. That's what the beauty of this is to me. What we hoped and dreamed came true is that we would be able to pull together a project, obviously a leading, that dreamed of a Rockford future that's different than the present. And here it is, it's right here in full beautiful color, representing all of the diversity of our city and, and all of our hopes and dreams. It's, it's on the wall, and so if only we could be what this wall tells us to do. Community is a sense of trust and an assumption of goodwill in each other that will each fulfill our roles. It takes a village, it really does. To, to, to birth something this big, it takes a village. The beauty of this project is it's not just something to strive for in the future. We're already doing it. With all the difficulties that I do this. This is why I do it. <laughs>